Hello and welcome to VMware vCloud Automation Center 6.0 Reports and Custom Dashboards. My name is Yves Sanford. I'm CEO of the Comdivision Group. You can follow me on Twitter at my Twitter handle at Yves Sanford. In this short demonstration for today, I'm <coughs> going to cover basic reports and custom dashboards, as I said. Um, mainly this is an enhancement of the version 6.0. You can create a, a dedicated dashboard for your users. So for that to work, we log in into the system. We are going to leverage the VCAC admin again for that use case here. Type in username and password, hit login. And then from there, we get to the um, home dashboard or home page of the um, user within the portal. And within that specific portal, we are then going to actually create a specific dashboard. As you can see, per default, it only has the inbox in the dashboard. So um, we are going to change that now by actually um, modifying the layout in the first place. For that, you hit that little um, pencil icon at the top. You click Change Layout. As you can see, there are multiple layouts for one column, two column, three columns. We are going to pick the second three column layout now. Hit Submit. You can see the desktop changes and next we are going to add some portlets to it. So again hit the pencil, click add portlets and we are going to add a few informations to the system. So for example we want to have the my items um, in there, we want to have uh, open requests in there, so we add those. You can see behind the system adds them actually once we click on them. We will arrange them later on, but just um, for the moment we are going to add a few portlets in there. So we are going to add IAAS capacity usage by group, add the IAAS capacity usage by blueprint, IAAS capacity usage by computer resources, and um, let's also add the um, IAAS Oh, hang on a second. Where was that one I was searching for? Um, yeah, the new and noteworthy. So you can actually specify something to be um, yeah, highlighted on the entry page at the My Group Requests um, portlet to the system. So overall, you can add as many as you like to the system. Once you are fine with your um, pre-selection of all the blueprints you need, you just hit the close button and then we can start rearranging the individual items on our home page. So hit close. As you can see, it always puts everything in the top left corner. So we define we want a new have new and noteworthy in the top right corner. We are going to throw the IAS components in the middle. You can basically drag and drop around the drag and drop them around as you like, so that you get the actual layout you prefer. So just drag and drop them over there. You can see the more you add, you can add them above or below them, and they will automatically readjust from a sizing perspective, depending on the number of entries in them and um, that way you can build your own specific user-specific custom dashboard with all the necessary components you need for your individual use case. Once you are fine with the um, actual dashboard layout, I wanted to show you another feature of the um, um, dashlets uh, or portlets. Um, as you can see, some of them actually offer the ability to export um, data. So, for example, the capacity usage report um, or a portlet can be exported. So, for that, you can actually do that. But you can also click on the um, more button and actually see more details for the specific requests, um, expand them, collapse them, whatever you need there. Um, for that specific use case, uh, create additional filters to define what you want to see, 
once um, the system. So for example, in this case, we can define which group we want to see, or you can export some of them as CSV files, and then actually later on, you leverage them in Excel or somewhere else and um, look at them from that perspective. We are go just going to open it. It's a CSV file, so nothing really too spectacular. But it's just to quickly give you an idea on that the system actually does the export quite well. Thank you for watching this presentation. Again, this was VMware vCloud Automation Center 6.0, Custom Dashboards and Reporting. My name is Eve Sanford. I'm the CEO of the Comdivision Group. You can follow me on Twitter at my Twitter handle at Eve Sanford or drop me an email at y.sanford at comdivision.com.